Hello everyone, welcome to another Framer tutorial video. Now in this tutorial video, I will show you how to send data from Framer to Google Sheets. Now, before we get started, make sure to subscribe down below for more videos just like this every single day. Now, as you can see, integrating forms into your Framer projects that submit data directly to Google Sheets can streamline your workflow, but it comes with some challenges. Now, what you want to do is you first want to start by creating a new sheet in Google Sheets, which will be destination for your contact form, let's say in Framer. Now, in the first form, you need to set case sensitive header like date, email and name. This is how it looks like right here, as you can see, to organize the information you collect. Now, for now, uh, the form only supports date and two additional fields. However, these fields can be named anything. So make sure to keep everything else as default. So that's basically how you wanted to want to uh, customize your Google Sheet. Now, next, you want to navigate to extensions and go to app script. So app script is a plugin in your Google Sheet. From here, you need to rename the script for clarity is just, you know, for your own sake, mailing list. So obviously from here, as you can see, this is how it's going to look like replace my function section with the provided code snippet, which is this right here. Now I will leave a link for the entire website right here, or you can pause the video and see it for yourself right here, or I will put it in the description. Now, next up, you want to run the initial setup function. So just run the initial setup, go to the initial setup, click initial setup. You'll need to grant permissions for the script to interact with your Google sheet. From here, choose review permission, choose your Google account, which uh, where you are using Google Sheet for. And then the first time it will raise a warning, you must click go to the mailing list unsafe. So just go to the mailing list unsafe and click on that. And then it should output the following after a successful run. Now, as you can see right here in your scripts project uh, triggers, add a new trigger, choose which functions to run. So do post so which uh, you can choose which function to run, basically do post. Uh, then you have choose which deployment should run head, select event source from spreadsheet and then select event type on form submit. Now from here, you just need to publish your project. And uh, it's important to copy and save the web app URL before moving on to the next step. Now, as you can see in the form that appears, select the following options. Description should be mailing list form, web app should execute as me and web app who has access, make sure that it's anyone and then click deploy. Now that's pretty much what you want to do from here. You can configure your form in Framer. So first copy the component remix link here, right click and copy Framer form to Google sheet and then paste it into your Framer project, customize the form to your liking and pass the web URL from the previous step in the action property. Now from here, all you have to do before wrapping up, don't forget to thoroughly test your form locally to ensure everything works smoothly. And that's pretty much it. So that's what you want to do in order to basically go and send data from Framer to Google Sheets. If you have any questions or comments, comment down below. And if you want a more in-depth tutorial, I can create one for you. So thank you guys for watching.